Father, we thank you. We can only lift our hands and we worship you. We can only lift our hands and say how beautiful you are. Father, you are a miracle working God. You've never gathered your people in vain. Jehovah, we exalt you today. Father, we adore you today. Father, we thank you for the revival. Father, we thank you for your move. Jesus, we came together. Kusema haufananishu.
worship you, Jesus. I'm 
that when he is lifted up he will draw all men unto himself yes. and in a season of visitation in a season of revival it's not about any individual it's not about any congregation it's not about a man of God somewhere it's not about a denomination it's about Jesus Christ and we are gathered here today that we may lift up the name of Jesus and magnify the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings to declare with our mouths be lifted high be lifted high for your glory oh lord be lifted high let jesus be lifted high let jesus be magnified let him receive all reverence adoration lord today we are here just to honor you and to magnify your name you deserve all the praise you deserve all the thanks love you, oh God. We honor you today.
worship you today. We honor you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You deserve all the praise. You deserve all the honor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. this gate. I want us to agree together for a new beginning in Jesus' name. A new beginning for the body of Christ where we will love one another unconditionally. Brother to brother, sister to sister, fulfilling what Jesus Christ prayed before he left. Let us be one. He prayed, make them one, O Lord, so that the world will know fulfilled in our generation amen. and in our time. Amen. May God be glorified. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. And I want us to agree together as a point of contact and faith. We will hold our hands together. And so, so let it be a picture of a new beginning. You know, today is the full moon. Actually at four minutes past midnight, officially it was a new moon. A new moon marks a new month. And we have begun today the Hebrew month of Shevat. Somebody say Shevat. Shevat. The eleventh month of Shevat is attributed to one of the sons of Jacob known as Asher. Asher was the eighth born. Eight is a number of new beginnings. Amen. And I want us to proclaim, I want us to declare in Jesus' name, let there be a new beginning. Amen. Let there be a new birthing. Let there be a restart. Let things be renewed in Jesus. The mission of Christ was to give us a new start. So that all things are forgotten and all things begin to become new. So hold the hand of your neighbor and just take a few moments and pray that the spirit of Christ, the grace of God will overshadow us. That we will forget our own identity but find ourselves in Christ and begin to be an expression of the Son of the Living God. That in everything we do, we shall seek to glorify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It shall not be about any one of us, it shall not be about any of our ministries, it shall not be about our personal visions. It shall be about the mind of Christ, the will of God, the purpose of God, understanding what God has intended for us in this time and season. Oh God, that you shall be glorified in the midst of your people. Oh God, that you shall have your way in our midst. Oh God, that you shall be honored and be revered in our midst, oh God. That the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name, shall be exalted. Oh God, that you shall fulfill your purposes in the midst of your people. Oh God, that you shall be lifted up, oh Lord. We hold our hands together. Lord, across the aisles. Lord, as men of God, as people of the kingdom of God, today to declare, let the holy oil begin to be poured out in our lives. Haven't you said, oh God, behold how good and pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. For it is like the oil that was upon Aaron that fell on his head unto his beard and unto his cuts. Lord, it is in this place that you command the blessing. It is on this mountain that the dew of heaven begins to fall, that you release refreshing, that you release replenishment. Here we are, O God, holding our hands together, trusting in your unchanging, unfailing word. Lord, let the oil flow from the headship. Let it flow to the leadership. Let it flow to the fellowship. Let it saturate every aspect of our lives. Oh God, 
Mama de Catala Mama Maza Mataya Dobo Sharamana Maka. Oh, knit our hearts and minds together. Knit our hearts and minds together. Oh, blessed Holy Spirit, that you shall have your way in our lives. Shira Rana Mama Mosidi Dibi and Tala Mama Mama Ka. Ekandala Mama Mama Maseke Dele Mama Mama Mosa. We pray for oneness in heart. We pray for oneness in spirit. We pray that we shall be one. That Jesus shall be glorified. Let the revival embers, let the glory of God fill the church, let the glorious church of Jesus Christ be birthed in this season for the glorious praise of the Lamb of God that was slain. That the Lamb of God that was slain shall receive the reward of his suffering in this season. Oh God, we look to you. We trust in you, oh God. Mekayatana mama 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 shanda ikamo teke teke taba baba baza reposha teka manda elandi namaka kepaladi akatana labrake magada ha shanda namana kato ije namana mayata makabo tele mando boboka we bless your name Jesus we honor you mighty God we celebrate your grace. We celebrate your favor. We celebrate your loving kindness that is indeed better than life. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We magnify your holy name. Shadama mama mama sekede. Rakama kala mana mama mama shanta. Ripo shanta da 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 do sata. Rekama mama 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 shanta. Ikama mama 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 sata. Rekama mo sharabada kata. Rekata na mama 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 sata. Riko mo shanta la mama mama mosa. Iko mo 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 shanta. Rekada mama mama sata. Rekala mama 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 shito. Leka na mama sata. celebration in the house of God. Let there be genuine happiness because of the great doing of the Lord. But the picture of Asher is, when Asher is born as the eighth son in the house of Jacob, he triggers a new wave. The wave that he triggers was an opening up of wombs. You see, Asher was born of one of the handmaidens that were in the hands of Leah and Rachel, specifically of Leah. And both Leah and Rachel were desiring to bring forth. They wanted to bring forth. But for Leah, she had started and stopped with Judah. She still wanted to go on. 
I know there are some people here who have been involved in some revival. Some of us have read about some revival and some move of God. We want to see it in our day. Something is going to be triggered in Jesus' name. We want to declare, let there be a triggering of a new wave to the glory of God. Let it be so. Let it be the reality of our lives. And so when Asha was born, when this eighth born came forth, suddenly Leah began to give birth again. And the Bible says she conceived and she gave birth and called a son Issachar. I pray let there be a release of Issachar in our midst in this season of revival to the glory of God. Men who understand the season and the times that God shall be glorified. I don't want us to agree together that there shall be a triggering of a new wave. Somebody say a triggering of a new wave. And after Leah conceived and delivered Issachar and delivered Zebulun, then also Rachel who until that time had not given birth even once because her womb was totally shut. This new beginning triggered an opening of her womb also to the glory of God and Joseph was born. May we release our Josephs in this season. Redeem us for this generation. The word Joseph means God is going to add to you. May he add to your life. May he add to your ministry. May he add to your business. Add to your family. May he cause you to expand and to grow and to thrive. Because it is the season of time of our visitation. If you believe it, say yes. Yes. And so I want us to agree together in the presence of God. And say let there be a triggering of a new wave. Anything that refused to bring forth. It must birth now. Yeah. Every seed that we have sown in faith that has been dormant on the ground, let it be triggered in Jesus' name. Yeah. Let there be an activation in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Any well that was producing water but was clogged up by some Philistines, we want to command in Jesus' name an unblocking of the wells. Let the rivers of living water begin to flow. Yeah. And so just hold the hand of your neighbor. I want us to agree in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it is sea season, it is the time, it is a moment, it is the day of our visitation. And as we stand at this gate of time, we say, Lord, may you have your way. Lord, be glorified. Lord, be exalted. Let your purposes be established. We are here today to worship him. We are here today to magnify him. And as we hold our hands together, let our praises fill the atmosphere. Let the Holy Ghost have his way in our midst. Let the glory of God saturate our lives. Let us be carriers of the glory wherever we go. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you thanks and we worship you. Could we take this Sinak song? We are here. And Lord, you are also here moving in our midst and we worship you we worship you let's just declare it to him we worship you and then just release your faith and let there be a triggering because some of our wombs have stopped bearing but there is still an Issachar that needs to come out somebody who will understand seasons and times who will say the time has come for the king to be enthroned you have been scattered and confused for a long time but the time has come king david is here you guys need to anoint him because it's a time of prophecy we need zebulons to be born in this time kingdom businessmen Zebulun was a prophetic businessman. He traded and the seas brought the wealth of the nations. In the season we are living in, the wealth of the sinner belongs to the righteous. And in this our time, it is our season. Somebody say, let the Issachars be born. Somebody say, let the Zebuluns be born. Somebody may be saying, you know, the economy is not good. It doesn't matter what the economy is about. We carry the DNA of God. Yes. And when there's a triggering of a new wave, things are going to shift. Yes. The purposes of God will be established. Let's just worship Him for a moment and release our faith. 
Let this faith in this atmosphere shift the atmosphere in our nations. Hallelujah. As we worship him, if you're here as a businessman in the kingdom of God, receive grace to be a Zebulun in our generation. To operate in the systems of God. Oh God, we give you praise. We worship you. Let there be a release of the glory of God. Shakamataha Talaga. I worship you. You are here. Walking in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Moving in our midst. I worship you.
for your favor and your grace. And we thank you because of the time that we live in, the season of the end, the end time harvest time season, the season of renewal and replenishment, the season of revival and refreshment. God, you have promised that you will rejuvenate us. And today we come humbly, repenting before you, humbling ourselves and asking of you, oh God, and in your mercy, in your grace, you will touch us once again. Oh, ignite us on fire. And let your purposes be established, oh God. Let your will be done. Let your name be glorified, our God and our King. For who have we in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that we desire, oh God. Our hearts and our flesh may fail, but you, O oh God, are the strength of our hearts. You're our fortress, you're our hope and our salvation. We worship you, Jesus. We bless your holy name today. Glory to God. Sharakatala Babushala. Oh, mighty God, you're the God who does marvelous, marvelous, mighty things. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We praise your name. Hallelujah. As we continue praising, praying, worshiping, and praying to the Most High, I want us just to appreciate some of the pictures of the day that we stand. We stand at the gate of time. Most of us appreciate, I know a good number of us here are intercessors, so we appreciate the place of the gates of time. Because gates are places of transformation, they're places of transaction. And we want to transact some things in this gate today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I said we are on the 25th day of January, but it's also the first day of, of the first moon in the month, or this month, the 11th month, which is attributed to Asha the eighth son or the eighth born son uh, worship team you can take your seats briefly but you'll come back in a few moments uh, because we'll be blowing the shofars in a short moment around this midnight hour midday hour is that all right just to celebrate god's goodness celebrate god's grace celebrate his favor and his love towards us there's some things we want to land in the presence of god together by faith in jesus name and so I said that there are patterns of Asha. Asha is the eighth born son, and when he was born, there was a triggering of a new wave. The wombs of both Leah and Rachel were opened, and they began to give birth. But, and the children that they bore were very prophetic, both by their names and their accomplishments. I don't want to get into that. But the thing is, we are here today to trigger by faith a new wave. And we have been gathering for the last few Saturdays together. We want to thank God for uh, the men of God. Uh, we, uh, earlier in the year, uh, met with Apostle Julius Subi. But actually, last year we had um, a moment of consultation and we felt the Lord was leading us that in January, we should synchronize our time of prayer and fasting. That's what we... We, 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 we felt last year, sometime in September, and so we agreed we will take a fasting season from the 8th to the 16th of January, which is a window of 40 days, and pray and have gatherings together. But as we began to convene and to meet, we found we just needed to consult Father and share with a number of people who are hearing from God and see how the Lord is going to lead us in this time because we sensed strongly that God is doing a new thing in this particular day and hour that we are in. And so we, we called in a few of our friends together and we began to just consult and we felt what we need to do is to push into this season and so uh, we felt we need to have Saturdays devoted for times of prayer and so we're having seven hours of prayer every Saturday uh, but even as we are doing this we felt we needed to have an almost entire day when we gather for a solemn assembly and so we felt the best day for that will be the 8th of February which is actually two Saturdays away from today 
and so we are marching on. Touch your neighbor and tell them we are marching on. And we, we know that God is going to trigger something in our lives. We, every time we gather, we don't know how it's going to be. Personally, I'm expectant. Uh, those who have known me for some time, I've always said every time we have prayer meetings, revival meetings, I'm always expecting that somehow that will be the meeting that I won't be able to stop. Uh, flesh will totally get out of the way and God is going to do his thing. And I'm still waiting for that thing. Praise the name of the Lord. Because when God begins to do it, then you don't have to push it. You don't have to try and use some sweet sounding words, uh, your intellect to try and craft some stuff. We, we thank God for wisdom. We thank God for knowledge. We thank God for what God has enabled and deposited in our lives. Uh, and so I'm not despising that element of the knowledge that God has deposited in our lives. But there's a dimension that you enter into. And it's no longer what you have accumulated. It's what God is releasing fresh from heaven daily. Is yes. someone listening to me today? And we want to get into that particular time and allow the Lord to be glorified. And so we, we began to gather together. We begin to, to pray together. And so um, this coming Saturday, we shall be in Westlands. And it's going to be important for us to be in Westlands because there's some stronghold in Westlands. Uh, over the years, I've had many people saying, and we've, we've, we've walked Westlands, we've prayed in Westlands, we've gone around Westlands. I've met different men and women of God from that zone. And I've said there's some canopy. There's some things are about Westlands. But we are here to declare in this season every limitation must be broken yeah. every embargo must be lifted yeah. every barrier must be broken in the name of Jesus let there be a release of the grace of God if there's ever been a time we needed to see the Asian community that's around that zone getting born again it is now yeah. touch somebody and tell them it is now, it is now. this is a set time of favor. It's a set time of revival. It's a set time of renewal. So we, we're going to be in Westlands at Apostle Kathy Kagenish's place. That is on Raptor Road. Um, from 7 in the morning and I thank God for many of us who are here from 7 in the morning. Uh, we were here with Apostle Julius and my wife and a few other leaders. Uh, we were pushing in prayer and um, we will be here from 7 in the morning um, until at least 2 um, same case today, we'll be here until 2. Um, of course, my prayer is we, we forget ourselves and we are here until past midnight. I don't mind. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And when some of us need to go home and change, we leave some of us here uh, not knowing which world you are in. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, in the past revivals, people would speak in tongues for one week. You know, and you speak to them in English, they speak krakaposhana. They try to speak, but they can't <laughs> because something just got a hold of them. And sometimes they go in and speak in those tongues and people understand what they're saying. And people are repenting because they're hearing a message of repentance being preached to them. Praise the name of the Lord. That's when God takes over. Where hardened criminals suddenly are being turned around. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, are you listening to me today? Yes. And that's what we want to see. Uh, and we want to see it break out in the parliament, break out in state house. Let it even break out in the judiciary. Yes. Because we need to see foundations laid back afresh that God shall be glorified. Somebody say amen. So we, we're going to blow the shofars. But before we blow the shofars in a moment, let me just um, say something very brief so we can understand uh, the gate we are in. I said it's a gate of Asher. Um, eight is a picture of new beginnings. The Hebrew word for eight is the word shimone. Somebody say shimone. The word shimone means oil. So the picture of Asha is oil. The shimone also means superabundance. The picture of Asha is also superabundance. That's why Asha in Hebrew, I said, means what? Happiness. Hello? And so when there is abundance, when there is oil, there's going to be happiness. So in Hebrew, when you say shimone, it means eight, but it also means a new beginning. Somebody say new beginning. And that's why there are pictures of a new beginning. There were eight covenants sealed with Abraham. And then he was told on the eighth day, you will circumcise your sons. Jesus himself was circumcised on the eighth day as a mark of the covenant of new beginnings. And we all know the picture. People like David was the eighth 
born son in the house of Jesse. It was a new beginning. God was bringing in prophecy into fulfillment. What he had spoken in chapter 49 of Genesis from verse 8 to 10, that the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from in between his feet until Shiloh comes. That prophecy was being fulfilled. And for it to be fulfilled and to be aligned the way God wanted it to be aligned, David had to be the eighth born son. Born as if he were. And Solomon was also the eighth son in the house of David, and he built the temple. And so patterns of eight continue in the scripture. In fact, if you go back to the days of Noah, you will appreciate that when God cleaned the old iniquitous generation, he allowed the new people to bring forth a new generation to be eight individuals, Noah, his wife, of course, the three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and their wives making a total of eight and a new beginning in the human realm. But today, as we are on this gate, we are praying and believing God for a triggering of a new wave. Let there be a new beginning in our midst. Let God be glorified from this place. Let his purposes be established. Amen. I want us just to look at a very quick scripture. We will read it together. Um... This is the Hebrew word Sande. Sande. Slow and never tell them Sande. Now, this is uh, also one of the pictures of Asha. And I want us to read the eight verses of Sade in our Bibles, Psalm 119. Psalm 119. Most of us here, I know we have very many men of God here, and we know Psalm 119 is broken into packages of eight, eight verses. And in those eight, eight verses, there's 22 of them. Every character of the Aleph Bet, Aleph Bet is the Hebraic alphabet. It is known as the Aleph Bet because the first character is Aleph and the second is Bet, so it's known as Aleph Bet. And so, we are in Psalm 119, verse 137, because there are packages of eight, eight, eight from the beginning. Each package of eight is one Hebraic character. I don't want to talk about them right now, but I want us just to read this together. From righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. And I want us to read it by faith. And as we declare it, we want to declare that the righteous judgments of the Lord Most High shall be established in this city, in our nation, and in our generation. Let the righteous judgments of God spread out throughout the nation.